Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn how to export report items such as tablex, matrix, chart, etc. to different sheets in Excel or file with names. So let's go ahead and do that. Open the SSDT SQL Server Data Tools and here you can see that I have three different items. I have tablex and I have or you can call it table or detailed report and then I have matrix and then I have a chart. So let's preview the report. So all of those uh, items are coming on the same page as of now. First, uh, what we would like to do, we will just export uh, the, all the items uh, as it is uh, to Excel and uh, see the results. Uh, so click on the export button, go to Excel and save this uh, report. I'm going to call this one uh, report1.xlsx. Uh, that's actually the name of my report as well. So save it. Now go to the folder and open the file. And you can see that all these three items are exported to the same sheet and the sheet name is report one. So now what we would like to do, we would like to have these items on each of different sheet. That's the first task we would, what we are going to do. And then finally we will have the tab names or sheet names according to the item name. So we can change by ourselves. So let's close this one. Now go to SSDT, SQL Server Data Tools. To have these items on different sheets, we need to introduce a page break. So let's click on this tablex and then go to the properties. Sorry, click here, then go to the tablex properties. And here in the properties, we will be adding a page break after. So after this one, introduce a page break. So this will go to the next page. And after this one, we will introduce another page breaker right here. So click on the matrix, tablex properties, and add a page break after. And we do not need to do anything on the chart as there is no other item after that. So if we go ahead and preview the report, we can see that each item is coming on its own page. So on first page, we see the detailed report. On the next one, we see the matrix or summary report. And on the third one, we see the chart report. That's great. So let's go ahead and uh, export this report to the Excel now. Save it. Overwrite, yes. Let's go ahead and open the report. And now we can see that by introducing page break, uh, all those different items are coming on different uh, sheets. So the very first item was tablex and it was a detailed report and we can see that that's coming on sheet 1. If we click on sheet 2, we'll see our matrix report. And then uh, on the third one, we see the chart report or chart item. That's great. But we, what, we would li what we would like to have, uh, the sheet 1, sheet 2 and sheet 3, we would like to give some proper name. So I'm going to go ahead and change the names up so let's close the excel file go to the ssdt again go to design and click on the tablex here so you see here first of all we have to select the tablex and once we select the tablex press f4 that's going to take us to properties and then we will look for the property called page name In this one i'm going to call this one tbl let's say detail and the sale. That's the name of the sheet I would like to have. So I'm giving that a name. Next, I'm going to go to the matrix and then use the same thing and press F4. And here on the page name, I'm going to call this one summary and uh, sorry, underscore sale. Hit enter. And for the chart, I'm going to go and give the name called chart underscore sale so you can have name whatever you like now we are all good let's preview the report as of now in the ssgt sql server data tools or if you have even deployed this report to the report server you would not see any difference you will still see the different items on each of those pages but when we'll export to the excel that's where we are going to see some differences so let's export to the excel and now save the report, yes, override it, open the Excel file. And now you can see that each item is coming on different sheet. Also the sheet name is what we have provided in the page name property. So we have table detail sale, summary sale, and chart sale. So that's how you will export 
uh, your different items to different sheets in Excel. So you will be playing with the property called page name. So you will be clicking on that item type and then press F4 and uh, change the property called page name. And one also, one important thing, you will be introducing page break between these items. So thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next video.